function to the other. Uh, today is uh, the day uh, when the District of Columbia government, both the executive branch uh, and uh, the par in partnership with the uh, Committee uh, on Health and the Council of the District of Columbia releases uh, our uh, HIV slash AIDS epidemiology report. Uh, for those that have been keeping count, uh, this is the third annual uh, HIV and AIDS epidemiology report. Glad to be joined by the chair of the council's uh, committee on health, uh, David Catania, uh, the director of the Department of Health, Dr. Pierre Vigilance, uh, the director of the uh, HIV and AIDS administration, Shannon Hader, uh, by the executive director, Whitman Walker, John Blanchon, uh, and uh, by members of the community uh, who uh, have been saying for some time that we need an HIV and AIDS administration uh, that uh, moves forward uh, in uh, both reporting information uh, and solving problems as fast as humanly possible. So first, uh, uh, continued uh, kudos uh, and uh, appreciation to the HIV and AIDS administration, the Department of Health for doing this epidemiology report. Uh, and this year, for the first time, the report includes uh, STDs that are prevalent in the District of Columbia, including uh, chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, tuberculosis, and hepatitis A, B, and C. Uh, the report, uh, in, uh, amongst so many other things, indicates progress in fighting HIV and AIDS along the following. Uh, it shows that, uh, that uh, the work over the past couple of years is, uh, is paying off. From 2004 to 2008, there was a 36% decline in the number uh, of new AIDS cases. In 2004, there were 786 new cases of HIV AIDS reported. In 2008, there were 525. Uh, HIV positive residents are accessing treatment in greater numbers and are living longer. From 2004 to 2007, 36% more people entered into care uh, within three months. Uh, from 2004 to 2007, uh, there was a 30% decrease in the number of residents uh, dying of AIDS. Uh, and this year, we continue uh, some of the great work we started a couple years ago uh, in working hard to stop the spread of HIV and AIDS in the district. Uh, uh, specifically, DC supported nearly 95,000 HIV tests in 2009, which is twice the number uh, that we would have been at just three short years ago. Since 2007, the Department of Health has doubled the number of residents receiving free HIV medications. 2,500 people are now enrolled in DOH's free HIV medication program. Uh, the district distributed 3.5 million free condoms in 2009 and reached 5,000 young people with free voluntary uh, STD uh, testing. Just a couple more additions to the annual epidemiology report. For the first time, the report includes the STDs that I mentioned. Uh, the report will also help the district and public understand how STDs are spread and how they can be prevented. The report showed that new TB cases in the district decreased 36% from 2004 to 2008, and the number of people in the District of Columbia with TB has now fallen uh, but somewhere uh, below New York City and Philadelphia. So lots of indicators headed in the right direction. Uh, as mayor, uh, you not only want to make sure there's progress, uh, but you want to indicate the great work of the people who are bringing it about. Uh, we will bring forward our subject matter experts. Uh, but first, I want to bring forward uh, the chair of the Council's Committee on Health, David Catania, who stood by us on so many important announcements around HIV and AIDS, never shied away uh, from t taking on uh, this and other tough challenges the district faces. And we appreciate his very strong and effective partnership. Councilmember Catania.